what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to play PC games on your jailbroken PS4 5.05 using the Linux OS I've made video how to install Linux on your portable hard drive and I've also made a bunch of other videos how to play retro art games Wii U games and all of that stuff all those links will be in the description so make sure that you guys check out the description alright so let's go ahead now and get started another thing guys you should know how to boot Linux and you should have your USB keyboard and your USB mouse plugged in already and everything also you should have a wired Ethernet cable connected to your PS4 the Wi-Fi will not work because there there's no Wi-Fi drivers um, to install on the Linux right on your PS4 so make sure that your PS4 is connected with a Ethernet cable so you need Ethernet on the PS4 okay also not all PC games will work the game has to be Linux compatible first and another thing is that if the game is high demanding in graphics it will not play properly because the PS4 will not be able to, to support so much graphics that the game is asking for so make sure that you guys keep those in mind alright so let's go up here and remember guys that you should refresh your menu right here every time you run Linux and I'm just gonna click again just gonna click again and go to web browser and I'm gonna show you like the type of games that are available on Linux or I'm gonna show you how you can find the games that are available for Linux okay so you can just type Linux games in Google and as you can see it brings up a, a list of games that are available for Linux OS if the game is not compatible with Linux then it will not work make sure that you guys keep that in mind and right here you can see it has the rise of the Tomb Raider right here this is the game that I am gonna um, try out and show you guys so let's go ahead and close Firefox so let's go ahead and open up Steam so click right here the one that says native you will need to log in with your credential so just go ahead and log in you can create a Steam account if you want if you don't have any okay so as you can see Steam loads up perfectly so as I mentioned before guys the game have to be Linux compatible first before you go ahead and purchase the game or download the game okay so make sure that the game is Linux compatible first so let's go ahead and show you guys how to check these games as you can see down here it shows the window icon right here it shows the window icon so if I click this one right here shows window and it shows the, the Apple logo so this means that it will work on Linux as well Windows and Linux okay if it says if it shows the window icon then that means it's for Windows only if it shows window and the Apple icon that mean window PC and Linux PC so I'm just gonna go to the search bar right here and I'm gonna type free and I'm gonna hit search okay so this top one right here dungeon fighter online it shows the window icon so this mean that the game will not work on your Linux OS with the PS4 so if I click on it and if I try to pl um, play the game like download the game it's gonna show that error message okay so we cannot download this game because it's not compatible for our Linux okay and if we go down to Dota 2 it shows window the Apple so we can click on it and if we go down to play game 
you see that we get the option to download and install the game okay so guys make sure that you check the game if it's compatible before you go ahead and download it or even try to download it okay okay so I'm gonna go to library right here and you want to click on the one that says steamos plus Linux all your Linux game will be right here if you have the option that says games this version is for um, your Windows games okay so all the 72 games will work on my Windows um, PC all the 12 games will work on the Linux OS on the PS4 so make sure that you click the top one and all your Linux game will show right here when you download them okay so I've used as you can see I download rise of the tomb radar and I've also downloaded Onslaught warriors right here so I'm gonna click on tomb radar and I'm gonna click play give it time for it to launch so there you go guys it's load up okay we can click um, continue anyways okay so from right here you can go ahead and um, config the game make sure that your PS4 controller is connected using the USB cable and all of that so we can now start to config the game we can change the display um, let's use the mouse let it run in full screen um, let's see okay let's try 1920 by 1080p and if we go over to advance everything should set to low but yeah let's go ahead and click play and there you go guys okay guys so rise of the tomb raider didn't work well because I may have increased uh, the resolution too much so keep that in mind also that some games might not play properly with high resolution okay so I'm gonna go ahead and try out the onslug warrior I've played the Rise of the Tomb Raider before. Um, if you guys check my channel out, you will see a video with the Tomb Raider playing. But as I mentioned before, some games might not work properly with a high resolution settings. And there you go. So Unslug Warriors seems to be working fine. Again, you should have your PS4 controller connected using a USB cable. So I'm gonna press start on the controller and everything let's go to settings video hmm, 1920 by 1080p 60 Hertz okay let's check the gameplay okay so this seems to be playing fine so as I said guys um the game has to be Linux compatible also if the game is high demanding graphics game then it won't play properly and also if you turn up the resolution too much the game won't um, work that properly as well okay so only low graphics game and Linux compatible game will work okay keep that in mind guys so guys if the video help you out please give it a like also share the video around and also you can subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video